China has just shocked the world. Semic, the Chinese chip maker once crippled by U.S. sanctions, has unveiled a working 2 nanometer chip and it's already preparing for mass production. This move could upend the global tech hierarchy and now everyone's asking is the U.S. already too late to stop China's rise? What makes this so seismic is that SMIC achieved this breakthrough just months after being cut off from EUV lithography the world's most advanced chip-making tech, without EUV hitting 2 nanometers, should have been impossible, yet here they are not just prototyping but scaling. This isn't theoretical, it's real and it's happening fast. The announcement stunned the tech world and caught the U.S. off guard. Meanwhile, Taiwan's TSMC, still the global leader, and Apple's chip supplier is feeling the pressure. Their edge is shrinking. The global semiconductor race just got tighter. Why does 2 nanometers matter in chip design? Smaller transistors mean more power and better efficiency. More transistors equals more speed, lower energy use, and the ability to handle complex AI workloads to put it in perspective. A human hair is 80,000 nanometers thick. We're talking about engineering at an atomic scale. Apple's M3 chip runs on a 3 nanometer process. That's already state-of-the-art TSMC is working on 2 nanometer tech too, but it's not in mass production. Semic, on the other hand, is already prepping to scale. If they succeed, they're not catching up, they're taking the lead. Meanwhile, the U.S. is falling behind. Intel is still pushing out 7 nanometer chips with 3 on the horizon. China's leap to 2 nanometers closes the gap and fast. And this isn't just about speed. AI runs on chips faster. Chips mean better AI. That's not just a tech advantage. It's a strategic one. National security, global competitiveness, economic dominance. All of it hinges on AI. These chips could give China a serious edge. So how did SMIC do it without EUV? The answer lies in deep ultraviolet lithography. DUV, the older tech that EUV replaced using a process called multi-patterning SMIC, likely layered multiple DUV exposures to achieve the detail needed at 2 nanometers. It's harder, slower, less precise, but it works if done right. If SMIC pulled this off, they've turned an outdated tool into a weapon of disruption, and they didn't do it alone. Enter Huawei, another Chinese giant sidelined by U.S. sanctions behind the scenes. It's rumored SMIC and Huawei teamed up Huawei bringing deep R&D and funding Simic delivering the manufacturing power together. They've been quietly cracking the code, but here's the bigger play. China has been aggressively building a fully domestic semiconductor supply chain. Materials, chemicals, tools all sourced locally. SMIC doesn't need foreign suppliers anymore. They've built their own kitchen and stocked it with homegrown ingredients. This insulation from Western tech is what makes their progress not just impressive but durable in short. SMIC has done the unthinkable, innovated under pressure, scaled without EUV, partnered strategically, and built a self-reliant supply chain while the U.S. debates and Taiwan watches nervously. China may have just leapt into the lead of the next tech era. Absolutely, here's a more intense, dramatic, and tightly flowing version of your script with elevated language, a quicker pulse and zero headings, or breaks just one unrelenting stream of momentum. All of this without a single helping hand from Western suppliers. This isn't just a leap in chip technology. It's a seismic shift in global power. China isn't catching up anymore. It's accelerating past every barrier, tearing up the old playbook and rewriting the rules in real time. The U.S. is no longer leading. It's reacting, chasing shadows, stunned by a pace it never expected. What SMIC has done isn't just technical brilliance. It's a declaration, a statement to the world that the age of dependency is over the old world where Silicon Valley reigns supreme and Washington dictated terms is crumbling. This is China's counterpunch, a bold, unapologetic march toward complete tech sovereignty. No EUV, no problem. They've weaponized DUV multi-patterning like no one thought possible. They've built a supply chain so self-sustaining, so ferociously efficient, it's leaving Western giants in the dust. The message is clear, China doesn't need the West and now the world is holding its breath. Then SMIC goes nuclear. Two nanometer chips, not a whisper, not a rumor reality. And with that, the foundation of the global tech order begins to shake. Where does this leave the United States frozen silent? No emergency briefings, no press conferences, no retaliation. Just a void that silence is louder than any outrage. It's the sound of being caught flat-footed, stunned by a breakthrough that wasn't supposed to happen. Washington's playbook is suddenly useless sanctions, restrictions, blacklists. They were supposed to be the firewall, instead they look like paper walls in a storm. And while the public hears nothing behind closed doors, the panic is real. Official scrambling scenarios being redrawn, red lines shifting because if SMIC did this once, they can do it again. And sanctions, however brutal, may no longer be enough. 
Expect escalation, more bans, more pressure, perhaps a scorched earth strategy targeting China's entire chip ecosystem because, make no mistake, the U.S. knows what's at stake. Look at the titans. NVIDIA, Intel, Qualcomm, the anchors of American dominance, but SMIC just walked onto their battlefield and threw down the gauntlet. NVIDIA rules AI, the crown jewel of the tech future. But now imagine China mass-producing homegrown AI chips at scale slashing costs, rewriting the economics of artificial intelligence. Suddenly, NVIDIA isn't just facing competition, it's facing extinction in key markets Intel already struggling to keep up with TSMC, now watching SMIC overtake it from the blind spot still stuck at 7 while China eyes sub-5 nanometer territory. If SMIC scales Intel's relevance collapses in neutral regions where politics aren't poison, customers will vanish. Qualcomm clinging to TSMC for its manufacturing edge is next in line. If SMIC delivers a better, faster, cheaper product, Qualcomm's hold on the mobile world dissolves. This isn't about who makes the best chip anymore. It's about who survives and now shift focus to Taiwan. TSMC, the jewel of the global semiconductor crown, the island's pride and its Achilles heel, TSMC has been the gold standard 5 nanometer 3 and beyond. But if SMIC pulls this off at 2 and nips the throne is in jeopardy, Taiwan's economy deeply intertwined with TSMC's dominance suddenly becomes fragile vulnerable. What happens if that dominance erodes economic shock, political chaos, and the geopolitical stakes off the charts? Taiwan is a key ally of the U.S., and TSMC's chips are linchpins of American defense tech, but now under pressure from both Beijing and Washington allegations fine sales to Huawei, TSMC is being squeezed from both sides, the noose is tightening, and Taiwan long seen as unshakable in chip making is looking over its shoulder for the West. This isn't just about losing market share, it's about losing command. Chips are the bloodstream of the modern world AI missiles, Communications finance security control, the chips control the future. If China becomes truly self-reliant, the West loses its leverage, the threat of sanctions evaporates countries that once bowed to Western tech might pivot to China, where the price is right and the politics are clean, the map is redrawing itself in real time, the US isn't leading anymore, it's falling behind fast and the rest of the world sees it. So the question now, can SMIC actually scale a prototype is one thing, mass production is war. It's not about building one flawless chip, it's about producing millions with speed, with precision, with yield, and already the cracks are showing reports of low yield rates are leaking posts on text suggest SMIC is battling classic production headaches, imperfections, inefficiencies, and without EUV, they're forced into complex, expensive DUV multi-patterning, but don't count them out. China has the one thing the West underestimates, unbreakable political will, SMIC has endless funding, national pride, and the full backing of a government hell-bent on winning Huawei's R&D engine isn't slowing down. It's revving up with time investment and sheer obsession. Mass production isn't just likely, it's inevitable. Maybe 2025, maybe sooner. And when that moment comes, when China floods the market with SMIC and Huawei's AI chips, it won't just catch up to the West. It will lead SMIC and Huawei won't just be China's champions. They'll be global disruptors, faster, cheaper, independent. They'll offer the world a new option, a new power. And as the West watches, it won't just be facing competition. It'll be facing its own decline. The era of tech domination is ending.